so this is a um, quick video on a, another quick sort visualization that I've been working on this one um, the purpose of it is to enhance understanding of the so-called dual pivot quick sort that your um, Vladimir Yaroslavsky came up with in 2009 um, and John Bentley and Joshua Block teamed up with him and this became the um, the core sort algorithm and the Java 7 SDK. First I'll just do a quick thing here to show what it does. This is going to be the let's do auto. So this partitioning method breaks it up into three different um, sets. Um, those that are less than the left pivot and those that are in between the left and right pivot and those that are greater than the right pivot and I'll talk about what those are but what you end up with here is done is three sets these are less than that left pivot the green is in between and the red is above the right pivot that we started with and the way the algorithm works is that it does this and then it'll call itself recursively on the three different um, regions there's a bunch of other factors like based dealing with um, equal pivots and things, but um, I'm not going to get into that here. The purpose of this is just to kind of look at it in a best case way and for how the algorithm works. So I'm going to make a new one here. What I use is this is um, kind of pseudo source code from um, Seb um, I think Sebastian Wild and Wild and Marcus Nabel's analysis of Yaroslavsky's algorithm. And what I try to do here is as it goes through each step, it highlights the area in the source code um, where you are and what it's doing. In this case, you know, it's setting the two pivots, the left pivot and the right pivot. There's some little information about it. Um, boom. It sets um, these counters. a note about hey this is the main loop we're going to be going through and starts the process so I'm comparing A of K to the left pivot makes a little note there in this case it's bigger than the left pivot so it jumps to the else it comes down I'm showing how you're comparing A of K which is A of 1 in this case to the right pivot here it's in between it marks it as green I move that guy back we go down and increment the counters and do the loop again and you can step through either the hand come even manually one at a time or just kind of let do auto boom, and let it finish um, there's some different options on the pre the set that you want to use let me see in this case, they're increasing now. They're, they're all increasing, but I do a thing where I found the pivots based on the estimate of the tercels. I think it's tercels. So, Let's go, let it go. Anime. I don't give little notes as it's going, but you can see the pointers cross. The pointers crossed right there. It was done. Does some swaps. Boom. Um, what's what I think is really interesting about this? Let me see if I can find it is that again Yaroslavsky came up with this in um, 2009 and on the web you can see the mailing list where he first introduced it this is from some Java um, mailing list and he's saying here is he's suggesting an updated method for quicksort he has some background but again you can read it. it's just kind of interesting historically to me because um, a dual pivot approaches weren't considered particularly um, useful based on some work that Sedgwick had done but he but Vladimir Yaroslavsky showed that you could get some improvement um, doing this um, I think John Bentley and Joshua Block kind of tweaked some things the actual algorithm that's in the Java 7 SDK has a bunch of um, special stuff in it to handle weird cases but the, this is the core algorithm used there um, so do it again it's kind of fun to watch
watch go through. Um, another note about this, let's see. The font I'm using here is, it's called Computer Modern for the source code. It's It was a font developed by Don Knuth. Um, it's beautiful, in my opinion. It's what's used most in a lot of cases in um, the tech. Uh, mathematical typesetting language. Now one way to get mathematical typesetting on web pages is to use um, MathJax, which works great. It's really, I mean, it makes beautiful equations too. But in this case, since I just kind of had some basic lettering I didn't, I didn't want to have to um, have it maybe be a little delayed from actually doing the fancy SVG formatting that it does to make the characters. So what I did, I found um, there's a guy named Christian Perfect who um, showed how you can use the font of Don Knuth on a web page so that's what I did um, another thing here this little script L which I thought was really important to, to include if possible I don't know why it was just important to me I think it looks nice um, it's an L a script L it, I use um, Unicode I think it's 2113 or something for it and it renders okay it, actually it's a little dark I think I don't know why but you can tell it's a script out. Um, let me see. Oops, let me make a new one real quick because I want to look at it. I'm going to stop it in the middle. Stop out. But over here, this is um, in SVG land. And so, but you can still use the same font. And so I just say, hey, here's some SVG text. Use this font. And the font's available. I'm using the font face thing or whatever. And boom, there you go. And the SVG can render it too, which is really cool. So I'm just watching it go through here. Um, I hope to put up some other canned cases for like maybe some pathological bad examples of stuff that can show that where this might not work so well with just this version of the algorithm. Um, let me do it again just because I can. Doop. So. I'm just watching the pointers. Um, Sedgwick talks a lot about crossing the crossing pointers technique, and I and this is shows it right there. They just crossed. Boom! It does some swaps at the end. I'm just gonna watch it again. I don't know why. I think when I click new, it's making it's picking random values there. Do, 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 do. Watch it step through all the things. Just kind of checking. These few little lines of code, um, there's a lot going on, I think, as it turns out. Uh, and all these quick sort methods, even in the, if you look at the code in Sedgwick's book, um, in Sedgwick and Wayne's book, um, they'll have these just a handful of lines that re in reality are doing a bunch of, it's doing a bunch of stuff and can be really sensitive to um, little changes. So, here's some else. I guess that's it. Um, the, the link to this is on down below if you want to go play with it. Um, I'll be making some tweaks here and there, maybe do some more partitioning method visualizations um, as I go along. So, that's about it.